Asana just released a new feature called AI Studio. This is a very exciting feature and I want to show you a specific use case we've been working on with an example. The idea here is to build a collection of AI teammates that you can have discussions with to ask specific questions. And those AI teammates would tap into the company knowledge to answer uh, and obviously save you time and ensure consistency. Let's have a look at one example. I'll show you one that works and then I'll take you through the creation of one. This is the project. So I've created one task for each AI teammate. We have Jean-Baptiste who can translate from English to French. We have Helen that can uh, draft emails. We have Alfred that can answer questions about Asana licenses. And we have Brian who can give you advices on discounts. Let me try and show you this example. So let's say Jean-Baptiste can translate from English to French. Whatever you post as a comment will be translated into French. So for example, this is something we might want to translate and that could be applied to a post, internal documentation, whatever you want. So I'm posting that specific comment. You can see a rule is running in the background and we have to wait a few seconds and you're going to see the result appear on the screen. So the AI is doing its work in the background and it's going to generate a new comment. Here you go. You can come and visit our French office. Our colleague Julian will be happy to welcome you in Lyon. What's interesting here is that the LLM actually looked at the different uh, instructions I gave and I explained to the LLM that um, in the US we have Kelsey working from Dallas, in France we have uh, Julian working from Lyon. So this is one of the adaptation that the LLM has to do when translating and you can give a lot of different instructions. Let me show you how it actually works. Uh, if you look at this specific task, I have a type drop down with my different uh, teammates so that I can identify which one to trigger. So this one is English to French. If I go into the customize menu, if I go into rules, you can find, actually I haven't named my rules, it's a bad thing. Uh, so this is the one, actually I'm going to rename this right now. So English to French. So here's the rule. When the comment is added, that's the trigger. Then the condition is to check that the type is English to French. And then the action is to post a comment. And then I used this little plus button to be able to pick the fill by AI token. That means AI will be able to fill in that specific token. And I can actually write other stuff around, like for example, translation. Here we go, fill by AI then the instructions go into that specific box set up with AI. And here's the prompt. You work for an agency called I do, this is us. You need to translate any received comment from English to French. You will use a light tone and use a specific pronoun we have in French. That's a very basic prompt. And then I started to add specific instructions. So I basically explained that we have different offices, different countries, different teammates. I can explain lots of differences uh, that has to be taken into account when translating from one um, language to another. What's interesting about doing this in Asana is that you can do the same thing in Deepo or Google Translate. The thing is Google Translate will not take into account any instructions, any prompt. It's just gonna, in, in a dumb way, just translate. That's the big difference you can give a lot of different instructions that are specific to the company. You can even store those instructions elsewhere and have different rules look at the same instructions. And I'll show you another example of this. So this is the first one I did. I have another one I want to build with you, which is the discount advisor. So let me actually do that uh, with you manually. So I have this task, it's Brian. I want Brian to be able to give me advices on discounts. So internally we have a sales team. Uh, the sales team had enough of uh, having people just come to them and ask the kind of discount we can do. So what they did is document uh, discounts in a document, in a task, and then create an LLM like this one to be able to virtually ask the sales team about potential discounts. So this is what we're gonna do right now. Um, you go, uh, so this is the task. It has a field discount advisor. That's the type. And then I'm going to create the uh, rule from scratch. So I will go into customize rules, add a new rule. Then you have the different options you already know. There's the create custom rule and you have this one, which is a shortcut to the AI studio. Here we go. So the um, trigger is 
comment is posted. The condition is that the type is the discount advisor. Then the action is to post a comment. Fill by AI. And then I'm going to give my different instructions. And those are the ones I already prepared. You work in a sales team. We sell us on our licenses and packages. We might be able to offer discounts in some cases, and our discount rules are actually described in a different task. So this is the task I decided to mention. Use this knowledge to answer a comment posted with a recommended discount. And you can have additional rules. You can mention that they need to add specific people as collaborators. They can uh, mention specific people as well. They can create tasks. There's lots of different things you can do. Uh, just to take you through the interface and that interface might actually change over the upcoming weeks but at the moment you can pick the model you want to play with you want to work with they have different specialties you can also decide the kind of information you get from the triggering task so for example in our case i only want the task metadata and the comments i don't need much more otherwise it's going to cost a little bit more i don't need attachments uh, if I mention projects, I will only need project names because I'm not going to be mentioning project anyway. And you can see there the AI will only be able to see this specific task I mentioned and the triggering task, obviously, but it doesn't see anything else. So that's it. Let's try. Publish rule. So I'm going to talk to Brian now. So in that specific case, it's like talking to the sales team directly, but because they consolidated all the knowledge within one document, then you can talk to them without them uh, having to do any work. And they can improve that document over time. They can add some new cases and some new instructions. So let's see what it says. For a deal value of that size, we can offer a 10% discount according to our discount structure. The reason is uh, blah, blah, blah. So you can, obviously this is an example, you can still come to me for discounts, but those are completely fake numbers. Um, the LLM then goes on and describes the entire discount structure that I put in the task that you haven't seen. That's exactly what's inside. But in that case, the prompt was very simple. You can also ask it to give you exactly the discount number without any details. Actually, let's go and try to do that. So you go into rules again. You open this one. And again, it's a good practice to uh, name the rules. Here we go, save, and let's try again. There we go, so it's gonna take a few seconds to trigger, and then we're gonna see the answer, hopefully. There we go, rule is running. There we go. No discount available for a 3K deal. So in that case, the LLM uh, followed the instructions, didn't give any details. So obviously you can go uh, much further, you can give suggestions on how to um, send that discount is an email, how to explain, how to promote that discount. Uh, it can even draft an email for you. That's lots of things that the AI can do in that specific case. So here's the use case I wanted to promote a list of different uh, teammates. You can call them agents if you want, uh, which are basically tasks you can discuss with using the comments. And what's very interesting here is the ability to consolidate knowledge into tasks or documents that you store somewhere and then different rules could be able to tap into that knowledge uh, and stay up to date because there's a single source of truth. Let us know if you're interested to know more. You can reach out to us if you want to get Asana licenses, Asana deployment. If you want to get access to AI Studio beyond the free um, tier that you have access to, let us know uh, and we'll see if we can uh, help you with this. Have a good day.